G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video I thought I would go over some of the software and hardware I'm using to record these videos. Now of course I'm using uh, Delphi um, 10.4 and as an MVP I get a, a free license so that's a, a good reason to do lots of blogging and stuff about, about Delphi. And um, of course Camtasia is my screen recording software and if I shuffle the little recording um, panel across, we can see I've got a, a green screen in the background. Now that's not a physical green screen. I used to have a physical green screen and that worked pretty well, uh, but it takes up a lot of space. So what I'm using instead is this uh, XSplit software. And I can change the background, um, well we can go to the original background, uh, which I have uh, a bit of a mess in the background, but that's that's okay. Uh, but I can replace it with um, various other things um, for just the novelty value. I'll go back to the, the green screen. Um, also, I'm not using a webcam anymore to do the recording. I'm using an old cell phone uh, because the quality is significantly better. Um, so I had a Logitech 920 something or other, a C9, C920. In fact, if I drop this down, yeah, C920. And I can probably swap to that. And yes, there it is. Uh, it's sort of kind of off to the side at the moment, but you can see the, um, the it's, it's a bit washed out, and there's there's not much there's not anywhere near as much detail as there is on the cell phone. So we'll swap back to that, and hopefully that'll uh, pick that up. There we go. So the the there's a um, X Split have a piece of software for Android uh, that allows you to use your um, uh, cell phone. Uh, the camera for that. So I'm using the primary camera, which is kind of the best. And I'm using an older cell phone because uh, it's just convenient. I can leave it set up. Now, for recording the sound, I have a microphone, and you probably saw it before. In fact, we go back to the original. Um, it's a um, um, Blue Yeti microphone, and I've just got it on a on a, a sort of a boom arm. And typically with the microphones, you actually need them quite close to your face, so the um, quality is, is good. But um, so it's, I, you know, sort of kind of don't want it any further away than that. But any closer, it sort of gets in the way. And I'm not recording from that directly, but instead through an application called RTX Voice. Now, RTX Voice is a um, piece of software, and Originally, it required a, a, a NVIDIA RTX graphics card, and some people did some hackery and managed to get it on GTX, going on GTX cards, and then NVIDIA just kind of released it for supporting on, on GTX cards as well. There's a new um, version of it called RTX Broadcast, which does require an RTX card and does video as well. But basically, what it does is filters out everything that's not a um, voice. So uh, if I turn this off, um, I have no idea what you'll be hearing, but uh, you can probably hear my computer whirring in the background. I've got a couple of computers in here and what have you. Um, so uh, they make a little bit of noise. But having this turned on, uh, removes it so you know I can, you know, clap and what have you. But if I turn it on, <coughs> and there we go. You may or may not be able to hear that. Uh, I could have a vacuum cleaner going in here, and it would filter it out reasonably well. But I won't because it's not perfect in that respect. It t tends to cause a bit of distortions. I've I've seen um, videos of people demonstrating it. Um, I could bring a chainsaw in here, but that would be a bit a bit messy. Anyhow, so I think that's kind of all um, I need to mention. My my screen is actually a four K screen, but I, I, I drop it down to nineteen twenty by ten eighty uh, for recording these videos because beyond that is a bit ridiculous. Um, there is the record panel. And in Camtasia, um, Camtasia doesn't, doesn't support um, alpha transparency on webcams. So it, I have this, that's why I use, use a virtual green screen. So it's, this is basically just a, a green image. Um, so it's not typically like any other image. Um, I use a, a green, uh, just a, a plane that's a few pixels wide and higher. I can't actually remember, uh, but it's the default um, color in Camtasia. Um, so let's stop this video. So we now have the 
um, first part of this video in Camtasia, and I can sort of make it a bit bigger, and I usually just kind of throw myself somewhere in there, which is a little bit out of the way. And we want to get rid of that green screen. So in the visual effects, yeah, throw that in and just increase the tolerance a little bit, and that gets rid of the uh, the fringing. And we can scroll through that uh, like so. And so, yeah, at this point, I'd be doing a whole bunch of editing, uh, removing some of my ums and ahs, which I won't bother for in this video. This is just a, a quick demonstration. And I hope you've found it interesting. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, I'm Alistair Christie. Uh, thanks for watching.